Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we're going to be installing the SD2 Vita adapter on our PS Vita and today I'll be using this beautiful PS Vita 2000 Slim sent to me by a viewer, thank you so much. And not too long ago I was streaming for about 3 hours and I was having issues where the adapter was not being read from the console and we followed two different guides and we were having the same issues even though we followed every step uh, perfectly we configured the text file we had all the files sent to our URL folder and we were still having the issue where the console just wasn't it was seeing it like it was reading it but we weren't accessing our apps or any of the files from that SD card so finally found a solution awesome and this application we're going to be using only works for 3.60 and 3.65 so this method shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes especially if you just downgrade it and you're ready to install the adapter so here is the adapter and the SD card we're going to be using the 512 gigabyte card very nice and these cards go for about $100 and I wouldn't go that much unless you have the money and you want to invest in that. I say go for it, but I wouldn't go more than 512 just because overkill and a one terabyte is pretty expensive. And they have tested that two terabytes do work on the PS TV, so that wouldn't be an issue if you do have one of those. And I tested this method four different times the first time worked but it was kind of weird second time it didn't work uh, because I had a lot of other files in my folder so that didn't work so I deleted everything restarted from scratch and then my third and fourth try it worked perfectly I didn't have any issues so let's begin we're gonna go to our settings real quick and show you what I'm running Here's my system information at 3.60 and if you're like me where I deleted everything and I want to start from scratch and I don't have either Vita shell or molecular shell, uh, you can run this URL in your web browser and you can reinstall molecular shell. So let's go into our web browser and I'll have this address in the description down below for you. Let's start that up and once you type in the Hinkaku.xyz it should open up this and you want to press R1 and this will reinstall all of the files needed and also reinstall molecular shell and once you see the purple text at the bottom you can press any button there we go perfect it's just really hard to pick up this glossy black console on this camera. So I have this to kind of throw it off. Let's open up Molecular Shell. Molecular Shell. Now first thing we're going to do is go to our UXO folder. And we want to find our tie folder. We have a config.txt in that folder so let's press triangle we are going to copy that let's go back oops press x go back go to the URL folder we are going to go to this tie folder now what we want to do is press triangle and paste that. Let's exit out of here. Go back to UXO. And we want to delete that folder. Nice. Now we can start our FTP server. Go to the select button here. Press that. And your server is now running. Let's go to our desktop. And let's start our FTP client. I'll be using FileZilla for this demonstration. If you don't have one, I'll have a link to this 
the program in the description down below. And we're going to type FTP colon backslash 10 0 0 dot 0. What is it showing here on our Vita? So 10.0.0.236. Dot zero dot zero dot two three oops two three six and our port is gonna be the last four digits which is one three three seven you can see right there one three three seven let's quick connect and make sure you're on the same network as your PC because that's the only way this will work. Now that we have all of our files opened up, we want to go on this side of the FTP client and make sure you select your desktop here. And we are gonna download the UXO folder. So let's right click, hit download. And depending on how much stuff you have on there the the time is going to vary obviously so that was pretty quick for me because i just started on a clean slate with this uh, vita let's open that up and here is all of our files ready to go for our sd card and that's the next thing we're going to do i'm going to plug in our sd card I'll have links to everything in the description down below that I'm using. Back on our desktop. Here is our SD card. Let's double check. We are at 476 gigabytes. Perfect. Head over to the first link in the description. I'll take you to Ridge Crop Consultants. Click on the picture here. And it'll start downloading the GUI format.exe. Let's show in our folder. Get rid of that. And let's move this to our desktop here. Run that. And we're gonna format our SD card to FAT32. Make sure you select your SD card. You don't want to format your hard drive or any other drives you have on your computer. So double check that. Mine is the USB drive H. And you have to close all of your folders for this to work. Anything that has the drive open, right? So allocation unit size, I'll leave it at 32768. Use the quick format. Make sure to hit OK. And we are done. Another way to format it is to go to your drive, hit format, and here we want to use the 64 kilobytes. Make sure it's on quick format, hit start. Now that our SD card is ready to go, we're gonna open the UXO folder. We're gonna grab all of these files and copy it over to our SD card. Let's eject this by right clicking eject to go. Next we're going to download the storage manager plugin. This will be the second link in the description. Once you're here you want to download the storage mgr.skprx file along with the config.txt file. Let's show in our folder. Move this to our desktop. And we are going to also download this app here called Yamped-Vita version 4.0. Hit the download link. That will be the third link in the description down below. There we go. Perfect. Over here. Moving on to configuring our text file, let's open the storage config.txt. 
and this will open up your notepad or whatever program you're using for your text files and we have to configure this according to what we're using so the first line is referring to an official sony memory card so if you're using a sony memory card leave this line as is if you're not like i am i'm not going to be using one we're going to delete that moving on to the second line the int which is the internal memory so if you're using a ps vita slim or ps tv you'll leave this line as is if you're using a ps vita 1000 you will have to delete that just like that and the third line is gcd this refers to the micro sd card inserted into the sd2 vita adapter so this should be kept as is for sd2 vita users and for the PSTV and PSVD for 3G users, you should change this line to UMA equals UXO. So we'll leave that alone. And finally, the UMA line refers to USB mass storage for PSTV or micro SD inserted into a PSVD. So we are going to delete that. And you hit file, save. Now our config text file is ready to go. Let's go back to our FTP client. Let's open up the URL folder, go to your tie folder. And here we're going to copy over the storage config and the storage mgr.skprx file. Perfect, the transfer's finished. Now open up your config.txt file by right clicking, go to view and edit. And here under the kernel line, we are going to copy this line, which I'll have in the description down below. Let's copy that and paste it under kernel. Make sure to file and save that. And double check to see if you see any UXO. If anything starts with UXO, you want to change it to URO. So all of your lines should be URO at this point. Control save or file save. Upload the file back to the server, hit yes, and everything should be updated on your Vita. Very good. Now go back to the original folder by hitting this link up here and here. And we're gonna move the yamt Dot vpk into the uro folder there it is ready to go and now we can exit out of our ftp client and go back on our ps vita we can disconnect our sd card and insert it in our adapter Get this SD adapter ready to go. Okay. Go to the URO folder. We are going to install the yamt.vpk. Yes. Yes again to confirm. And there is our installer. So let's insert our SD adapter. Go back to molecular shell. And let's hit the reboot on this. So press start. And go down to the reboot. There, press X. You guys can see exactly what's going on. So as you can see, it's not working. We're missing our molecular shell app and the Yacht app. Go to settings and see if our Hinkaku settings 
Homebrew is enabled. So enable unsafe homebrew. Boost version, we're at 3.65. So you want to change that to 7.3 to avoid any updates to your system. And let's reboot our device. Now, if you get this far and your system is reading the SD2 Vita, congratulations, you don't need to do anything else. You are all set. And it's that easy. So we're still not seeing anything. What we're going to do is double check our settings one more time. Make sure our Hinkaku settings is... Yep. So now we're going to remove our... Go back down to... Oops, sorry, let's go. And reboot our device. And we have our shell and yomped installer. Now push SD2 Vita adapter back in. Go to the program, the yomped installer. Up. Oh. Now you'll have four different options. You have the install light version, install full version, uninstall, and exit. We want to install the full version. Well, let's install the full version here. Done, and now it's rebooting. Sorry about the cut there. My battery just died and we just rebooted into the SD2 adapter. And we're now seeing the Yomped installer along with Molecular Shell. So those are very good signs. Let's go to our settings and check out our storage. And go down to system system information now we have 476 gigabytes of storage that is awesome and yeah i do apologize for the cuts here my batteries haven't been charged and i've been back and forth especially during the time i was uh streaming earlier and here's molecular shell let's check out the uxo folder and you can see we're now sitting at 476 gigabytes. Wow. So finally, finally figured out the, uh, the problem here or resolved it at least. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, especially with the YouTube rankings. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.